Hey, it's Xyanek here and this is a short video on translates. Um, base, uh, what I have here is the original uh, Metallica uh, translate from Stern. Uh, and thus you know, uh, these are generally pretty dark unless illuminated. Um, let's see. And Stern does, uh, uses one light source to illuminate their translates. And uh, basically this is uh, printed on uh, very inexpensive material, which is just uh, typical backlight, uh, typically used for, I don't know, displaying menus at your McDonald's or stuff like that. Uh, it's a plastic, it's a PETG. No, I'm sorry, it's not a PETG, it's a PET. Uh, it, there's no G, G stands for glycol, this one does not have that. Uh, it's a typical backlight material. Underneath it, we have a remade version by me. Uh, this one is printed on 0.5 millimeters PETG, which is the plastic with the glycol in it. And uh, it comes in the protective foil. And it is, unlike the original, it is very shiny. And glossy. Bear with me while I remove that foil. And uh, here is the difference on the front. Uh, this material is very glossy. It's very thick and it's printed with multiple layers of ink. Meaning that there is a layer that's visible when you're looking at it with the pinball machine switched off and the, the colors and everything looks okay. And when you illuminate it, the second layer of CMYK paint kicks in and basically what you get is a lot more contrast. So this, unlike the original, has a lot more contrast in it. Uh, this particular one does not have any special effects. It is just a remastered version of the original. And here is the original for comparison. See, this one is easily over illuminated by this light. Um, another example would be a translate from the Revenge from Mars. This is the original translate. This is what it would look like illuminated. It is over illuminated by this light. The colors are no longer vivid. They don't pop. It looks okay, but not great really. Uh, this is, this was made in 1999, I think, and it's not an example of a very well-made translate by Bally or Williams anymore. <clears throat> and here is a remake that I did, but this one appears a lot darker. And this one is actually printed on backlight, which is the same material that Stern uses to print their own translates. Uh, here, the effect, uh, because it is darker uh, when not illuminated, we achieve 
better colors when we illuminate it. This, and this, this is very important to note, is a budget translate. It is basically very inexpensive. However, I would could, I guess I could make a case where this already looks slightly better than the original. However, what really, I think, in my personal opinion, and it's also an opinion of a few other people, this is what looks the best, and this is basically a translate printed on PTG with multiple layers of ink. Here in protective foil, and when you illuminate this one, first of all, you can see it normally when it's not illuminated, but when you illuminate it, look, look how much contrast you have. For comparison, this is the original. This is the contrast you get with the original. This is the contrast you get with the remake. Or, I call it remastered. Again, original, remake. Um, I suppose some people are really uh, okay with the fact that uh, we don't have much contrast here on the original, but it's like arguing over which TV is better, LCD or OLED, which is made using the organic uh, light emitting diodes. And I would argue that OLED is better because it pretty much provides an unlimited uh, contrast ratio. <clears throat> so, uh, this is the, the remake printed on PTG. This is the original translate from 1990, uh, 1999. And this is a remake uh, printed on backlight material, which is the budget version of that translate. <clears throat> 